an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. There is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. There is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. <laughs>
though it's gone through wild fluctuations. They've spread their strategy to the struggling movie chain AMC, too. In their wake, these online market players have upended Wall Street, creating a drama filled with memes, app trading disasters, weird internet lingo, as big-time investors have lost billions of dollars. <laughs> it's a crazy story, complete with cameos by Tesla CEO Elon Musk and CNBC commentator and former hedge fund manager Jim Cramer. There's even Michael Burre, one of the subjects of the book and movie Big Short, who happens to be a prominent investor in GameStop. Even Silicon Valley found a way into the middle of this mess. It's wild. Despite the move being characterized as insane and a Ponzi scheme, GameStop stock <laughs> has become the battleground of a war between Wall Street and internet traders, with nearly all of them expecting it to fail. The questions are when and who will be on the losing end. We're seeing a phenomenon that I have never seen, Jim Cramer, host of Mad Money, said during a segment Monday, and GameStop could just be the start. It's insane. Maybe it's mad. It's mad. It all started last week when posters on the Reddit stock trading community Wall Street Bet pushed up shares of the struggling game retailer. With much of Wall Street betting against GameStop's success, Wall Street best investors believe they could force a market rally by creating demand where there had been little before. As a result, GameStop stock jumped more than 822% from 17.25 a share at the beginning of the year to a high of 159 on Monday. Then it dropped by nearly half, only to rise back up to 147.98 on Tuesday. And then Musk tweeted about it to his 43 million followers, using that weird internet vocabulary, of course. <laughs> and the price jumped 40% in after-hours trading. On Wednesday, it closed at 347.51 a share, before dropping again in after-hours trading. On Thursday, it jumped even higher, $483 a share before halving again. Amid all the chaos, the New York Stock Exchange temporarily halted GameStop share trading more than a dozen times before Thursday. It ended the normal trading day down 44% to 193.60, only to jump back. The Reddit community has also turned its eyes on BlackBerry, attempting to pull the same trick. So far, they've pushed shares up more than double from $6.58 a share, where they started at the beginning of the year. On Tuesday, the stock closed at $18.92. On Wednesday, it closed regular trading at $25.10, though since it's fallen to $14.65. There's AMC, too. Reddit targeted that one, spawning the hashtag SaveMCAMC on Twitter. Its stock jumped from $2 a share last week to trading close to $19.90 on Wednesday. It, too, fell in after-hours trades after jumping Thursday, fell again to close at $8.63. App-based traders Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, and WeBull responded to the fluctuations by restricting trades of GameStop, AMC, and other fast-moving stocks on their services. Do they do that during IPOs? Do they do that during Facebook stock? What's going on? Robin Hood drew particular ire, leading U.S. representatives Rashida Tlaib and Alexandria Cortez, Cortez, as well as fascist Ted Cruz, to criticize its decision. At least one class action lawsuit has been filed already. It's a lot to take in. So here's what you really need to know. How did this happen? Effectively, the Wall Street's bets crowd realized Wall Street made a huge mistake. People known as short sellers who were betting GameStop stock would fall had been too aggressive. The Wall Street's bets crowd understood that if they could create artificial demand for GameStop shares with their own money, they could force Wall Street to recalibrate its bets, pushing prices even higher. And some investors who couldn't even back their bets against GameStop would have to pay even more. As Wednesday, there were more than 3.8 million members of the Wall Street Bets community, though it's nearly impossible to determine how many people are involved in GameStop, AMC, and BlackBerry schemes. What we do know is that all this activity appears to have created a short squeeze, 
where the short sellers betting against GameStop are forced to buy much more GameStop stock to cover their losses. That pushed the price up even more, which forces more short sellers to cover their losses, which pushes the price up even more. Some of the Reddit crowd believe that GameStop stock could reach into the thousands of dollars just because of this mechanism. Interesting stuff. Story continuing. Thanks so much to everybody for donating to our new laptop fundraiser. You can donate now with on-chain Bitcoin or with the Lightning Network at TallyCoin. Uh, link in the description below. We're up to 42 contributors. Uh, you can also leave us a message on TallyCoin. Uh, thanks so much to this uh, contributor right here for $219. With love, Dex Chain, Space Chain. I don't know what that means, but thank you for your support. And thanks to everybody for watching. Uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, subscribed. We try to do these shows every day. At the World Crypto Network, we've been making Bitcoin and crypto videos since 2014. I've been making Bitcoin videos since 2013 on the Mad Bitcoins account. So I hope you guys will check those out and stick with us. Later today, we'll be coming back with the Bitcoin Group, a roundtable discussion group talking about all of this week's issues, including Dogecoin, uh, Reddit, uh, the stock market war, Bitcoin going up. All of these things we'll be back here discussing on the Bitcoin Group, another show that's also been going since 2014. We've done around 240-something weekly episodes since then. So thanks so much for sticking with us. It's been some exciting couple of days in the news here. It's great to have electrical power back at the house so I can use my computer and have a good microphone and all that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye.